Silent Falcon UAS Technologies, based in Albuquerque, New Mexico, is partnering with NASA to develop a UAS Traffic Management System, or UTM, to safely manage low-altitude UAS in the national airspace. With the advent of numerous new applications for UAS coming onto the scene every day, the need to ensure safe and efficient sharing of airspace is critical. From the Not Really Coming as a Surprise Department, according to British Transport Minister Robert Goodwill, the object that was reported as striking a British Airways Airbus A320 on 17 April has not been confirmed as a drone. The airliner was on approach to London Heathrow Airport when the pilot reported that something had struck the front of the aircraft. After initial inquiries by the UK Air Accidents Investigation Branch, the branch reported that there was insufficient information on what object was involved and has subsequently closed the investigation due to lack of evidence. The idea that this was in fact a plastic bag was widely reported last week. Last week, Alta Devices set a new record for solar cell efficiency. Tests done by the US Energy Department's National Renewable Energy Lab showed that Alta Devices new dual injection solar cell is the world's most efficient one sun cell with an efficiency of 31.6%. The company claims that fixed wing drone flight times of over nine hours are possible when using their solar technology. What makes Alta Devices technology so special is that we have combined the most efficient material for solar applications and put it into a thin and lightweight form factor. So Alta Devices technology actually can generate up to 250 watts per square meter of surface area. And when you combine that with that thin and flexible form factor, it translates into about a thousand watts per kilogram from a power to weight perspective. And that's really special. So as a result, we can extend the battery life in lots of different things. A great case study isn't a small unmanned aerial vehicle. So these small airplanes would typically only fly for like an hour or two. And by covering the wings with our solar cells, we can now enable flight times of over nine hours. And in even some cases, we're looking at being able to fly all day under the sun.